Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a very, well I'm going to be starting a very exciting series. I am going to be doing a huge decluttering of all of my makeup, but I'm going to break it down into sections because I feel like if I did everything that I was decluttering, then I, I this video would be like two hours long. Um, so I'm going to first start off with blushes because that's the thing that I have the most of and that's the thing that I want to get rid of right away because I, I, I'm just so tired of having lots of makeup and then just not using it or some things I've had for like over a year and some things I just don't even like but it's still in my collection that I'm not even sure why. My background is different because I just finished doing laundry, my bed sheets aren't even on and this background is such a mess. I haven't even changed my calendar to April yet. So anyways, so without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. You already saw my previous video, which was my whole makeup collection that I did. Um, I will link it down below. Okay guys, so this is all of my blushes that I have here. Um, I'm going to try and see whether everything is in frame. If it's not, I'm so sorry. I'm not doing this on purpose. I am on my nice little rug um white rug so anyways i'm just gonna go ahead and get started i just want to make sure that everything is in frame so these are all of my blushes that i normally keep in this container as you saw from my last video and i really need to get rid of well my goal is to get rid of at least half of these things because i know that i'm not ever going to use up all of this and i'm just going to continue to buy and buy and buy so let's just start off with this part top level right here this right here is the Wet n Wild Color Icon blush and so this blush is in the color Mellow Wine and I just really really like this blush just because it has um, pretty much been a staple in my collection for a really really long time and it's just so smooth and buttery and I just really love this. Um, that was such a really bad swatch but this is so creamy and buttery and I just really like this. I think it complements my complexion pretty well so I'm going to actually be definitely keeping this because I love this and um, whenever I see it I always gra gravitate towards it so I'm going to put it um, over here. So the things I'm going to keep are, I'm going to move it to this side. The things I'm not going to keep I'm going to put it over there on that side. Next thing is this blush palette and this is from e.l.f. and this is in the shade Dark. So without blinding you guys, this is what the palette looks like. I actually really, really like this color but I don't actually gravitate towards it just because I feel like the only colors that I could really use are this color and this color right here. This color is way too hot pink for me and then this color has a shimmer in it which I'm not a big fan of so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch some of these for you so these four are the swatches here I swatched this one over here first and that's this color this color is the one right here and then this color is the one over here that I just I, I freaking love this color and then this color is actually the one over here which thinking about it it actually doesn't have a lot of glitters in it I feel like it's so finely milled that it just doesn't appear chunky and you can't actually feel it so I'm going to actually play around with this a, li a little bit more and, and I'm actually going to keep this just because I feel like now that I've swatched it and that I see the colors here I actually really like this palette except for of course I'm not a big fan of this color over here this blush over here is something that I've had for, um, for I would say a couple of months now. I brought it, I bought it last year around November time and I just adore this color because I feel like it's the most everyday color that I actually wear and it smells really really good. This is the Butter Blush uh, Physicians Formula and this is in the shade Plum Rose and I love plum blushes uh, shades especially because I just feel like it looks really good with my complexion um, so I'm just gonna swatch this one here and again this is so buttery so creamy and this is what the shade over here looks like of course I don't have anything like this shade and of course I'm going to be keeping this one next up is this one over here this one is in the, sh uh, the shade Saint Lucia and this is actually a combo with um, 
a bronzer and a blush. This blush over here is actually one of the most natural looking blushes that I have. This is for an uh, for like a no makeup makeup look where you just want something but you know it just doesn't really show up. This is the shade over here and of course it doesn't really show up on my hand because it is more of like a natural peach blush which is what I really like and I recently bought this a couple months ago so I'm definitely going to be keeping this because I also really like the bronzer. And now this over here is also another blush duo. This is in the color St. Lucia and this is what I want to show you guys. This is like the problem that I have. This is the one that I just showed you and this is what this one looks like. It looks like this. It looks very very nice but then this one is the one that I've had for years and you can see that this blush over here is a lot more darker because I feel like I shouldn't even have it for this long. I've had this for about three years already and um, I just I just don't need it because I bought this one because I knew that I couldn't continue to keep on using this one so I'm actually going to throw this away because it's really old and it's just something that I really don't need. Um, and then over here we have the Wet n Wild color, color Icon Ombre Blush. This is in the shade Mai Tai Buy You A Drink and I, I've tried to use this so so many times. I really like the fact that it's very like peachy and it's very very light but I just feel like I just don't get any color payoff whatsoever and this is what it looks like. It's more of like a sheen. It's 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 just like it looks like a blush topper, which is something that I don't actually use. So I don't I don't I don't like this. So I'm actually going to be throwing this one out. This is another color icon um, ombre blush, and this is the Princess Daiquiris. And I once again I just feel like. It doesn't really do much for me. I try to use this with a sponge. I try to use this with my fingers, with like a with like a brush, and I just don't see it doing much because once you blend it out, it just blends out into pretty much nothing. And I just don't actually really like this, so I'm going to be throwing this one out too. This is a matte blush duo from e.l.f. and this is in the shade um, uh, Rosy Flush. I recently got these, um, well got these, uh, this uh, duo over here and I have yet to play around with this color but I really really enjoy this color. L like I said, I gravitate towards like the mauves or like just the dusty pink colors. So Swash, this is, this is what these two look like. I really like this one. It's more of like a mauve sort of like a, with like a hint of like orange undertone to it. And then this is pretty much just like a sheen blush as well. It really just blends into nothing, which I'm not, I, I don't like that one, but I really do like this one. So therefore I'm going to be keeping this only because I want to use this color more. Okay. This over here is an LA Girl um, Just Blushing blush and this is in the shade Just Natural which I actually really really like this color. Um, it's nothing too unique ab about it. I feel like I do have like one or two colors that, that are so similar to this. So I'm just going to go ahead and swatch it for you and I already made up my mind and I'm going to be keeping this just because I feel like this is a great everyday blush to wear, especially when I'm going to work. And I got this from Ulta. Um, I believe LA Girl is only sold at Ulta or Duane Reed or something like that, but that's where I got mine and I really like this. This next blush is a Makeup Geek blush and I just, I'm so torn because it was my first Makeup Geek or like my second Makeup Geek blush. So this is in the shade XOXO and I just, when you see this color, you're gonna be like, oh my God. So this is what the color looks like. I am really not a big fan of this color whatsoever. I just feel like it's too, it, it's just too pink. It's like a magenta pink and it just makes my cheek look, my cheeks look like they're on fire, which is one of the things that I really don't like about it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch this. So this is the color swatched and it's, it's sort of chalky. 
um, but it does have great great color pay payoff. I feel like this is a really great color for more deeper skin tones. On me, it's just a little bit too much for my cheeks and I, I just don't gravitate towards this color. So I'm actually going to be giving this away because I've never, I've, I've used like a couple of times, but this is the Joe Fresh blush. I got this in Canada um, when I was shopping for some gro groceries on, on the way back and this is um, in the shade Hy Hydrania, Hy Hy Hydrangea, sorry. Um, and I actually really like this. It's, again, it's a mauve color and I've used this quite a couple of times. It has really great color payoff and I just like the way that it looks like on my cheeks. So I'm definitely going to be keeping this also because I got this in Canada and I have really, really great memories and I just don't want to throw it out. This over here is something that I've used for a really, really long time. I'd say for about almost a year. And this is the Studio Makeup Blush, and this is it. And this is a luminous loose blush. And I freaking love this thing. The only thing that I don't like about it is that it's a loose blush, but look at that color. This is the color that I would wear every single day on my cheeks, and I'm just going to tr attempt to swatch this. This is the blush color and I freaking adore this color. This is of course one of my ride or dies. It's one of my favorite blushes in my collection so I'm going to be keeping this color. Up next we have another Wet n Wild color icon blush and this is in the shade Pearlescent Pink which there there is nothing like like this shade that I have in my collection. It just has this really nice sheen towards it. It's very, of course, the name says it all. It's pearlescent and I really like this. I'm going to swatch this for you and this is what the color looks like. I really, really do like this color but I just don't like the way that it has like that pearlescent finish to it. I'm actually going to be giving this one away because I've used this a couple of times and even though it's really pretty, I just don't see myself wearing it because of that pearl sheen that it has. This next blush is from Milani and this is in the shade Romantic Rose. Um, this is a recent purchase and I bought it because of the blush. Um, silhouette that it has to it. It's some. It's something that I just don't have in my collection um, and I really really like this plummy um, shade and this is what the shade looks like. I actually really really do like this. I wish that I would use it more but I, I just don't want to ruin the shape of this so I'm going to be keeping this. I have three more blushes left I have this one that is an OG that I that I've had this for like more than I want to admit, um, and this is by NYX, and this is in the color Mocha. This is legit the first blush that I ever bought when I, um, in college when I was just starting off wearing makeup, um, like real makeup. And this is what the color looks like. I remember researching the heck out of this product because I because that was back when I didn't know what shade would match like my complexion and I bought this at Ulta. I still remember buying this and this is what the color looks like. I really really like this color but honestly this I just have to give it up because I've get because I've had it for more than four years and even though I used it a lot you can't really tell because I don't know, I guess I just never made an indent in it, but I'm going to be throwing this out as much as I don't want to. I know that I can't hold on to it because I already have a lot of blushes that are this color, so I'm going to be giving throwing that out. Next blush is this one that I got last year from Sephora for my birthday. This is in the shade Party and this is these are one of this is their Amazon Clay 12 hour blushes and this is what it looks like. I love this color. This is what I used to wear last year all the time before I got as as before I got all of these other blushes. So this is what that color looks like and I think it's really really nice. It's it's just an it's just a very wearable blush that I feel like anyone can pull off and I really like this. So I'm obviously going to be keeping this. 
This last one is an e.l.f. blush, and this is in the shade Candid Coral. This is one of um, the most recent blush purchases that I've made, and um, I, I've worn this a couple of times. I haven't worn this too much. So this is what this shade looks like. I feel like it's way too light for me, um, but I definitely want to play around with it a little bit more and then just try and see whether um, it looks good on me as like a blush topper or something, but I really do like this, so I'm going to be keeping this. Okay guys, so out of the 17 blushes that I have, I am keeping, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm keeping 11 and I am definitely throwing away 4 and I'm giving 2 away just because these are really great blushes that just unfortunately do not do not work for me but I know that they will work for someone else. So over here, I'm glad to be keeping these. I am very glad to be finally getting rid of these over here and two I know will go to someone else who can use them so I think I did a pretty good job let me know what you thought in the comments down below did I do a good job do I suck at this um, and I just I just cannot wait to finally give all of these more of a chance um, and gravitate towards more and not have it clogged up in my makeup collection. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, I just, I decluttered all of these things and I'm mo mostly going to throw them out because it just did not work for me. I'm going to see whether my sister wants any of these things, but I'm not going to give them away. Um, just because I've had it for like a, a while and I have used everything in my collection so I'm just gonna see whether like my sister has wants it or like whether it works for her um but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know what you thought in the comments down below don't forget to subscribe like and comment and uh, yeah um I'm going to be announcing my giveaway winner down in the description box below don't forget to subscribe like and comment and I'll see you all in my next video bye guys